I have less than five years of training, but I entered one of the toughest tournaments in jiu-jitsu, ABCC Trials. This competition is full of IBJJF world champions and NCAA wrestlers, but I came in with a secret weapon, turtle. Huh? There's a loophole in the rules where the turtle position doesn't score any points, so I've used that rule and used turtle to hit reversals and make me impossible to score on. My first match was against an experienced brown belt. He starts grabbing my arm, so I lock up an arm triangle and sweep him into mount. However, he does a great knee elbow escape and is able to get out. I hip switch and knee pummel to start getting around his guard, but he's able to get an underhook and uses that to start entering into my legs. Definitely feeling a bit stressed here. ADCC is known for its intensity. I don't want to walk out of here on a stretcher. He throws his leg over into a reef, but I sit back and bring his leg over to the other side to clear it. Then I'm able to start extracting my leg. Once I do, I start passing. Recently, I've been focused on staying tight while passing, so I do that and put him into a chest-to-chest -chest half guard. He comes up to an elbow. I try going into that Khabib-style leg ride passing, but I haven't been wrestling enough bears, so he's able to off-balance me with a leg lock attempt, but I'm able to stay on top. I swim my arm inside and go the north-south. Things were looking good, until they weren't. He hits a nasty duck under. He gets behind me and starts looking to take my back. It was time to use my turtle defense. Whenever someone gets one hook on you, you want to fall to the side without the hook. This lets you bring your back to the mat, so that's what I do. I use my hand to block his hook from coming in and am able to bring my back to the mat and escape. I frame him away and get back to playing guard. There was only a minute 30 seconds left and he was definitely up in the judge's eyes. I had to make something happen. From guard, I started looking for leg entries, but he does a good job defending. However, this is when he makes a mistake. He grabs my head, so I grab a shoulder crunch and sweep him with my butterfly hook. I start lifting up his feet to secure the top position. If he stays on bottom here, I'll be awarded two points. So he turtles, and I immediately rush to his shoulders and grab a seatbelt. I throw in my top hook, and as he tries falling to the side without the hook, I pull him over to the other side. I throw my leg over his arm for full back control and get the point. I would have gone for this submission here, but honestly, I'm blind as a bat, and I could not tell if I'd gotten the points or not. So I just controlled the position to eventually win the match, 5-0. My next match was against another brown belt. From the start of the match, I'm able to get into my leg lock game. As I'm trying to attack his leg, he threatens a guillotine, and goes for a triangle. But I'm able to avoid it, and continue attacking his leg. But this guy's leg lock defense was on point. He's just nonchalantly walking out with my single leg X. I'm trying to leg lock this guy, but he has some crazy flexibility, allowing him to sprawl out in a way I'm not used to. So I start playing X guard to counter that. I knock him down and start going for a straight ankle. We spin, and he starts threatening a toe hold, so I bail. I wasn't having a lot of success, but I was able to keep him on the defensive. I was switching from attacking the upper body and the lower body. Because when he pressures in, I can get underhooks for shoulder crunches, and when he pulls out, I can create space and attack his leg. And that's how I'm able to get the sweep. I elevate him into double unders, and he stands up to both feet, leaving room for me to attack his legs. But when I do, he goes for his weird sprawl, negating my leg lock, but leaving his upper body open for attacks. I get both my feet between his legs and lock up a pinch headlock. The cameraman gets assaulted on the side of the mat, but that's besides the point. I switch from the pinch headlock to the shoulder crunch to get the sweep. I show how to do the shoulder crunch in my butterfly guard instructional that I upload to Jiu-Jitsu Lab. In there, I'm posting hour-long instructionals, and everyone in there gets unlimited breakdowns of their rolling and competition footage. So if you're trying to get better at Jiu-Jitsu faster, check it out in the link down below. So I'm passing, think about how I'm going to promote my website, and he throws his arm around and locks up a guillotine. And let me tell you, this thing was tight. I try rolling out, but I end up pinned in mount, an even worse spot. But I'm able to kip to free my hips, and with the little blood I have left going to my brain, I start looking for his elbow. I'm finally able to find it, so I start pulling it down, relieving pressure from the choke. I push him away to escape. Now if I stay on bottom here, I'm pretty sure he gets two points, so I abuse that turtle position and come up to my knees. By staying in this position for three seconds, I'm able to negate the points and I'm able to sit back to guard safely. ADCC rules are interesting, as we'll see more of later. He tries passing, but I'm able to keep getting inside position and putting him into my game. And from here, I'm able to just keep threatening leg locks until the round ends and I win two to zero. Now it's time for my third match. 
against a high level 10th planet black belt. So far, my strategy of attacking, then using turtle to negate any attacks of theirs was working. But would it work against a high level black belt? By the way, the rash guard I got on is from X Marshall. They got super high quality gear. Check them out. It starts the match off with some feints, but I'm not falling for that. I'm locked in right now. So I wait for my chance to grab his leg and start getting into my guard game. I grab a 2 and one and lift him using my hooks to enter into single leg X. I try reaping, but he hits a good back step. He goes reverse knee on belly. But I'm able to bring my knee back inside and escape. He jumps for flying tea bag, I mean triangle. But I'm able to bring my knee inside to enter into single leg X. Honestly, most problems from guard can be solved from just bringing your knee to your chest. I throw in a heel hook to make him spin. I come on top to start passing. He uses an arm drag to enter into single leg X. But he doesn't overhook my leg, so I just pull my leg out. Throw in a leg lock, then go back to passing. Sometimes in jiu-jitsu, you'll fight over the seemingly smallest things. From here, I'm fighting to get my foot in between his legs. See, he has his foot in between my legs, so if I drive forward, I'll end up in single leg X. I clear his foot and start passing. Before point start, I sit on my butt. From here, I could just stay comfortable, play my guard game. However, my ADHD doesn't allow me to play the boring double seated game, so I come on top to start passing, but that does not work on my favor. He hits a knee to knee off balance and starts wrestling up. He gets behind me. It was time to play the turtle gambit once again. I roll. He's able to get his top hook inside and pulls me over to the other side. I use my hand to stop his top hook from coming inside and I start turning away from him. I use my foot to fight off his hook. And I notice that he's riding up pretty high. So I take a page out of Derek Lewis's book. I just stand up and shake him off the top. He sits up. I jump around to start taking his back. He starts coming up to his knees. So I chase his shoulders and grab a seatbelt. I start trying to pummel my leg inside to get my hooks in. But he hits me with my own move. He bumps my weight too far off the top. So I let go of the seatbelt and he's able to escape. Now we're wrestling and to be honest with you, I have not been able to work my wrestling much before this competition, so it does not go well. At least I'm in turtle, my happy place. I start pulling his leg towards me, and as he tries pulling me down, I underhook his leg and backstep. Because of this underhook, he can't come up. I pressure down on his knee and jump around to start looking to take his back. There are 30 seconds left for me to score, and if I didn't, it was going to go to overtime. So I frantically try to get my hook to the side. I try pulling him back, but Isaac grabs both my feet. He starts going to one direction, then fakes me out and goes the other way. Now I was riding too high, so I fall at the top. And soon after that, regulation ends and it goes to overtime. In overtime, you can't sit to guard without getting a negative point. And I haven't been able to work my wrestling much. So my plan was to defend from turtle for three seconds. This way, I could pull guard without getting a negative. Or so I thought. I shoot for a takedown a mile away, go to turtle, Defend for a bit, then pull guard. Everything was going perfect. It was where I wanted to be. I didn't have a negative point. Crap. I ended up getting a negative point for sitting to guard from turtle, which I'm still somewhat confused by. I was in a tough spot. I was down on points in one of the hardest rule sets to score in. And I can tell that my opponent was cool with just running out the clock. I commit to a leg lock that's not really there. I tried turning his foot for the heel hook, but my positioning is all off. So once again, I go to the turtle. I overhook his leg to prevent the hook from coming in, and I roll over my shoulders. I try shaking him off the top, but he brings his weight back and double legs me, putting me back in guard. I try making something happen from here. I get my arm deeper for a shoulder crunch, then switch to single leg X, but I don't have time. The match ends with me as the loser. Turtle ended up being my golden ticket and my downfall. But I'll be back in two years for the next trials with Bear Wrestling. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. If you want me to help you get better at BJJ faster, check out Jiu Jitsu Lab in the link down below.